What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Hey, I'm Mandy. This is Luke Red Tarot. All right, so what this story looks like here is that somebody has, I feel like that you are in a good place. Okay, so this could be, the energy could be reversed. Y'all keep that in mind. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Okay, but I feel, I think that you've been going through a period of solitary, like solitude, not solitary, but solitude, like meditation. You've been really growing here. You've been connecting with your higher self here. You've been doing something creatively here. You could be working on some kind of music or art or something like that. Butterflies could be significant. We got another butterfly here on the death card. All right. Um, and then, so I feel like you've been through a rebirth and you are... <laughs> There's a lot about painting here or art or something like that, okay? So somebody could be writing a poem about you to you, some kind of music to you or something like that about you. And then we got loss and healer, guys. So this could be you or somebody else who's going through a loss right now. They're taking a serious L right now, whoever this is. And they feel like that the biggest thing they lost in all of this was you, okay? Uh, the song that... The song that was playing before when I was recording the last song, um, Ella May was coming on. So Ella May could be significant. It don't have to be. And I was playing Spotify just like random. And then it went into a couple of Ella May songs and then it stopped. And so I feel like with this clock at the bottom of the deck, this person feels like um, their time is up or something like that. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords with the Chariot that came out first. Wait, let me show y'all these other cards first. Okay, so Wedding Rings, Girl Talk. This could be somebody who's going through some kind of separation or something here. Because we got a union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And then we got time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So you could be uh, single now. You could have been in a marriage or long-term commitment or this person here who's in your energy. Um, but somebody's wanting to seduce you. This is somebody who's heartbroken still. Okay. Somebody who considers you like a soulmate or something like that. They feel like um, you, something about you is healing or they're just healing from heartbreak. Okay. Now with the clock, they're going through some things definitely here. All right. So then I pulled some from these, uh, I forget the name of the day, y'all. But um, <laughs> to get the overall energy. So there's definitely been a lot of triggering going on with this person lately. Okay, they want to clarify something with you that they've been going through with a family situation here. They've been trying to integrate something here, okay? Uh, they're trying to bring themselves into alignment. They've been going through a lot of stuff that they feel, a lot, a lot of shadow work here. Okay, and then the, the Justice card came out twice. So it's like kind of a mirroring energy of some kind of Libra energy. Cancer, Pisces here. So with the Six of Swords and the Chariot, this person with this turtle down here feels like that they were too slow. They feel like they ran out of time. They feel like you moved on. Maybe you did. We got the Five of Emotions and the Seven of Voices. Okay, so then with this page of voices, which is similar energy to the last reading of someone watching behind fake accounts or hiding how they feel or something like that. All right, so now this is like what they're going through right now in regards to you on their mind um, is what it looks like is the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Swords. This person is in heartbreak, like something really heartbreaking happened to this person. Or this is how they feel about uh, you. They feel like you broke their heart or they're just heartbroken over the fact that you moved on or something like that. So with this three of swords, and I was hearing like this, Ugh! like somebody like gripping their chest, like, okay. So then we got um, the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Five of Wands. The Ace of Cups is about love. And then you see these two swans here. This person thinks like you and, and them are some kind of match or something like that. They think you're similar in some kind of way or you're supposed to be together or something like that. Or they're heartbroken over somebody they were supposed to be with, they feel like. Okay. But with this five of wands and the ace of cups, the five of wands can be about competition. And this person is like, ain't no competition. Okay. All that competition stuff is over with. We got death here. Scorpio energy with the butterfly on my card. 
So with this three of swords, with this egg here, I'm thinking somebody might need to do an egg cleanse, okay? Now y'all, um, y'all gotta do your research on that. So that could be for somebody, some of y'all who already maybe do things like that, and maybe it's just time to do one of those things. If you don't do egg cleanses or anything like that, and that ain't your thing, don't even worry about that. Just leave that message for somebody else. But if you do, you may need to cleanse your energy because somebody's very focused on you. Okay, so next we got the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody is all up in their head about you over regret, regretting um, running out of time, going too slow, or something like that with the Knight of Materials, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so <coughs> next I pulled a few from the Angels for the Modern Mystic, and I was getting, okay, know your signs, let the melody inspire you. So this person could be uh trying to send you some kind of music or maybe you just are a singer or like to sing or something like that you may be getting messages through music be careful about any kind of messages that you get that comes through an electronic make sure it's coming for, through your higher self songs and electronic messages can be misleading so can angel numbers so keep that in mind all right rediscover natural wonder speak from your heart and open your eyes with bliss. So what I was getting with that is that this is what you're doing. This is almost like you are in front of people or you're voicing something here to people. You could be a singer or writing music or something like that. Okay. Um. So let's get, oh, then at the bottom of this deck, the, with the gifts and victory. Where's the other cards? At? Oh, I didn't show y'all those. Yeah, I did. The solitude. Okay, so I talked about that. But then with the with the um, gifts, victory, and celebration at the bottom of this deck, I feel like that you're going through like a good time in your life, okay? And this could be somebody to be aware of with the risk and deceit coming out there. Okay, so this could be somebody that's just trying to kind of derail you from what you're doing. I don't know yet. We're going to look deeper into it. Let me get a different deck. Okay, so what does the collective or whoever this is for need to know about this person that seems to be focused on them? The Five of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. They feel like that they want to get inside. They want to get... <laughs> They want to get inside that door, okay? With the Knight of Wands, they feel like you've shut the door on them. Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. They may feel like that you shut the door on them because of how they acted or something. Or maybe they were dealing with some kind of addiction or something with the Four of Pentacles. Or that could just be the fact that they are watching you with this page of swords this could be somebody that maybe maybe they feel like you let them go with the nine of swords and the five of swords okay they feel like that you had to yeah so you moved away from this person because you needed your peace all right that was the justice okay but this person is really focused on you right now leo aries sagittarius um and i feel like they're trying to connect with you mentally with all these uh birds and these bulls and things like that um okay and so we got the the star the devil here somebody is trying to um tempt the star okay you are the star here so we got chariot coming out again okay with the page of cups somebody really is a uh, kind of Mm, they think that this is something that, that can't ever happen anyway. So, tell me more. Well, they feel like it can't happen because they feel like they ran out of time. We got the star here and the sun. Your energies are very um, similar. They were at one point, or you're just healing, okay? They want to heal something between you. I don't know if that's what you want. We got the three of cups with the star, the sun, the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is actually trying to manifest you, but you don't know this. And it's like, they're not, this person is not going to stop. Okay. They're not going to stop. 
until they get you okay this person feels like you are their counterpart they love your strength they love your hustle they love your they feel like you're their wish fulfillment like every you like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and i don't know how i think about that <laughs> okay there's a lot of pinnacles here is there any cups well there's the ace of cups maybe they feel like they didn't give you enough love or something okay tell me more justice again they feel like you are their justice king of wands with the ace of cups this is an epiphany for this person um leo aries sagittarius libra cancer pisces scorpio this person has changed their perspective now they think you're an angel here <laughs> they think you can they think you're magical here with the queen of wands and the temperance here they feel like you're an earth angel okay you could be being protected from this person. Your home could be being protected from this person. Hold on. Yeah, this person feels like you was taken from them or something like that. Um, Or they could just be a liar. <laughs> that was the seven of swords, all right? They could just be a liar. I don't know. They're holding back or they're lying or they was lying or holding back. One of them, you know. Either way, it's not that great of an energy, the seven of swords. Okay, tell me more. What do they need to know about this person? We got the lovers here. Okay, and the song I'm getting is that um, song, uh, that Justin Timberlake song, If I Can't. If I can't be close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. This person is trying to astral project me into, into your reality. Oh, my God. Woo. Tell me more. Tell me more. They want to watch you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the eight of wands, Sagittarius, this person is, it's like this person wants you to message them or something like that. We got the seven of swords here. They are, um, they could be leaving a situation here because they seem to be trying to sneak off here with the seven of swords. Look, both of these, this person is being real sneaky right now. Okay, this person is being real sneaky right now with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Voices. They're both Seven of Swords. They're just voices in this card, um, in that deck. The Fool, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. This person don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They feel like they're about to miss their opportunity with you. And one of the songs that was playing, it says something about I'm not thinking to miss an opportunity or something like that, but... I can't remember. Um, shot clock and boot up came on. So this person is feeling heartbreak right now. I already said that. So what are they feeling heartbroken about? What are they feeling heartbroken about? I told y'all this could be somebody on a rebound. The Eight of Pentacles, that something didn't work out. So, hmm. so this person is like wondering if you can forgive them. Okay. With the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Also, again, this is somebody who's de who definitely could have just lost a situation here with a family or something here, okay? That could be why they're in a heartbreak. Um, how long is that? 14 minutes. Let's get some Oracle in. I'm going to get some from the... These? Nah, let's get some from these. You guys, if y'all want to get a personal reading, y'all can email me at lookaretarot at yahoo.com. And either way, I appreciate y'all watching. I love you guys. All right, what else do they need to know? True future scrying. 
what is the future of this situation? What's going on? This person is awakened to the fact of they feel like you are. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So we got psychic awareness, new life. This person wants you to envision a new life with them or they're envisioning some kind of new life with you. Dang, this is a lot right here. Decisions, truth. They want to be honest with you about how they feel, okay? Purpose and shame. Leadership, self-control and rest. This person is ashamed of something they did because they feel like that they... They have a bigger purpose, okay? So they, they feel ashamed of how they've been acting. All right. Well, let's get some from this day now. Dang, I heard another song, but now I forgot what it was. Okay, so we got the heart of the sky and the hunter. Okay. And then we got protection at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is manifesting something here. <clears throat> okay. So, let me get the book for that one because these mystical shaman cards, they're kind of, they're new. So, yeah, they're pretty new. So, I want to make sure I get the message that's coming through right until I learn them, you guys. Okay. So, the heart of the sky. Actually, actually, I'm going to read the hunter first. I don't know why. 27 because I feel like this per uh, I feel like that this person is so is in some kind of hunter energy. Okay, so there's a bear here. And then there's a face that you can barely see. So I don't even think that you know that this person is on this hunt for you. I don't know. All right, so the essence before the dawn of agriculture, we hunted in the forest to feed our kin. The hunter never takes more than what the village needs to survive, often taking only one creature, the good kill. He is a master tracker who knows which path to follow to find success. The invitation, rely on your own skills to traverse the thick forest you are in to reach your destination. You need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty, which is already prepared and being offered to you. Do not follow the maps drawn by others as they will not lead you true. Instead, become the map maker. Find your internal compass and use all your senses, including your common sense. Yes. So, you know what I'm getting with this is that whoever this is watching you from behind fake accounts or whatever they're doing, um, they're going through heartbreak and they're thinking there's something more important that you're supposed to be focused on here. So this could be, you know, somebody who's basically just throwing off your energy. Okay. So make sure that you stay rested up, meditating and all this stuff and keep focused here because with leadership and purpose, you got like something important you're supposed to be working on. Okay. Don't be distracted. That don't mean that you might not end up having a connection with this person, but I'm just saying there's something more important here. And maybe you won't. That's up to y'all to decide, but there's something important here. It's like Holy Spirit twice and Master Teacher. Wow, this was like God waiting on you. <laughs> like, wow. Hmm. Okay, so 27... Or maybe this person is you're waiting on this person to realize their purpose or something. I don't know. But the fo the important thing is that y'all need to focus on your purpose always. Um, no matter what that is. It could be, you know, having some kind of platform. It could be making sure your family is straight. It could be whatever it is for you. Okay. And we got these two birds here representing the Holy Spirit. Self-control is very important at this time. Okay. So, where was I? Including your common sense. The medicine. Don't settle for the roadkill. It could be poison. Oh. Be careful that you do not become the prey of your desires and fantasies. Yes. Remember to not want more than you need so you are not guided by unbridled ambition. It is okay to come home empty-handed. 
Hmm. All right. Number 24, the heart of the sky. That one's pretty. Okay, so we got a moon back here. It's like a crescent moon. We got a full moon coming up in a couple of days, you guys. All right. I'm not sure. It might be Friday. I'm not sure. But y'all y'all might want to look it up. It's coming up in a couple of days if you didn't know. <coughs> the essence, the heart of the sky is the love force that made all creation possible. This same force is present when you create with originality, when you bring formlessness to form or inspired ideas to expression. The primeval force does not know good or bad. Prim okay, I'm not going to go over that. It is up to us to provide the clear intention that will guide it to manifest. The heart of sky helps us call in beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world of matter. The invitation, the heart of sky brings you a sacred reminder. You are a channel for the original energy of creation. Become the paintbrush, the canvas, and the artist. Y'all, that is crazy. Where are those become? Was that from the last reading? Okay, y'all. Whoever whoever this uh, message is resonating for, y'all might want to watch the reading right before this one because I'm looking back through these cards because I was looking for the cards that had the paintbrush and all that on it, but that was in the reading before this one. Oh, wait, no. Here they are. I'll take that back. It's from this one. Look. Invention, creativity, the paintbrush. Don't be distracted. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> the heart of the sky. Set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details. The medicine, you may feel responsible for everything and everyone. Perhaps you think you have to do it all alone. This takes you into a dark hole where you lose trust in the natural wonder of the cosmos natural order of the cosmos shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize that it is a false prison of your own making you can open the door and set yourself free in an instant yeah okay so that's what i got for y'all on this one you guys i hope that helped in some kind of way or you just like watching listening to me whatever the case may be i love you guys thank you so much for being here i hope to see you in the next one bye